So after I made this tutorial, I realized that I've that I haven't added any shadow to this person. You can see the cycle has its shadow, but the person doesn't, and that's one of the very close to justify that this is fake. This person has been put here or placed here. That it that it has been placed here, and if we zoom in more. And if we zoom in more, you can see there are still some unblurred pixels. We need to fix that as well. But now I'm going to trace this person and I'm going to see you afterwards. So I have traced the person or the object, but you can see there's white corners coming out of her because we've blurred her. Now to fix that, we can go to select and I mean, we can go to selection from path, then feather it, but feather it, but we can also shrink it. And I've added a new path, which we're not going to use. I also added a new, I also forgot to add a path, but we can do that by adding a new selection, so. First we're gonna go to enter, to select it. Actually that path didn't cover up. First we're gonna add this selection. We still have to add more and make sure you have your mode on add to the current selection or else it would only select the chosen one. Now we're going to subtract from selection. Make sure you have it on subtract. Actually, we can't shrink now because there are some parts that are perfect and like on this area and here, the white corners are coming up, so we're going to go to subtract from selection. Let's draw a line like that. And Drawing in game is easy even if you are an amateur. Now that's perfect, but and see there's her legs, so we're not really tracing that right now because that's going to be the overlapping shadow. But first, we're going to add the shadow. So we're going to isolate this object, make sure you have your alpha channel on. Control X, Control V, green over there.
So for now we're gonna add a shadow so if the corners are transparency it doesn't matter. Now duplicate this layer, alpha to selection, go to fill with background color. Control Shift A to select none. We're gonna go to flip tool, make sure you have it on vertical, the default is horizontal. But make sure you have it on vertical, vertical on this situation, on this point. Now this is what we need. This is a shadow. Now what we're going to do, this is a vector shadow. Now what we're going to do is go to the Three transform tool and do it like this you can see this is a pretty great tool you can move around the any object or an image in any shape you want in this case I want it to be sleeping or laying low On the mode, I'm gonna go to overlay. Now it's it's a shadow, but it's not quite smooth. So go to blur, Gaussian blur. Actually, we did a mistake. While blurring this out, we accidentally made this in one layer. We need to maximize this layer, create a new layer and merge it down. That doesn't happen because this is overlay right now. There. Now do it overlay. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Like that, actually no. Blur causing blur. Like that. You can see it's starting to appear. Now we're gonna do with the legs. We're going to isolate this as well. Duplicate it and we're gonna we're gonna go with the same process here. Now for the selection fill it with back and 3D transform it. So it's going to be overlapping, so we're going to get it to the top. And on this, we want it to be hard light. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And that is how we do it for this tutorial. And I've realized something as well while making this tutorial, which is there are transparency coming out of every object we've isolated and if we go to the cycle you can see as well like 
in here. And that are solid clues to make that are this fake. And we can fix that by blurring everything out but not quite now. We're going to export it first. At my case I have I'll override it. And what overwriting actually means is exporting the image back to the imported file and the import format. And so that will be all for today's tutorial and I'll see you next Friday.